Okay, um, once upon a time, there lived a pond. The pond was very settled. No, no animals usually stayed there. Only Mr. Wise Toad. He popped his head up once in for all. And then, and then the trees rustled, the sun set and rose. But then one day, Mr. Mallard Duck decided he wanted to go for a swim. He decided he was going to make his house on the pond. So he went in. The pond was very settled there. Fish, the schools of fish popped their heads up. And then in the schools of fish, there was one little fish that felt he didn't fit in. His name was Mr. Frog. He was orange with black stripes, but he, and the the other fish in his school were all black. He didn't feel like he fit in. All his friends said, "Orange face, orange face, orange face, tiger stripe." But he didn't like that. One day, there was a little girl who brought her fishing bowl. She didn't want to eat a fish. She wanted a fish for her class. For her class. Because it was photo, day. it was going to be photo day soon, and her teacher said she could bring an accessory with her. She wanted a fish tank for her accessory. She loved animals, so she put her fishing pole in the water, and kerplump, the water went. Then, Miss, then the little fish, the unique little fish, Mr. Frog, wanted to leave. He felt his friends were mm, were not unique and they didn't get, get they didn't deserve to go with the girl so he went he went he he made a big splash he went under the water and got ready for his big splash he tried his school was saying you are too dangerous they're just gonna catch you and the humans are gonna eat you. But the fish, but Mr. Frog didn't listen. Mr. Frog was on the top. Mr. Frog hopped up and then boom, kaplurp. Landed with a splash. Landed with a splash. Now the girl saw that this was very visible. She saw that that little fish was the cutest little fish in the world. So she put her little her pole in the water, and the fish grabbed the hurt his mouth. Thing, Mr. Frog. She had caught her fish, so she went back home. The fish, the black fish, didn't feel, didn't feel lonely, felt so lonely in the pond without Mr. Frog. But then, the little girl came back without her fishing. She also wanted a little frog for her aquarium. She decided she would go. She sat in the frog. There was a, also a unique frog. His name was Toadie. Toadie didn't feel like he fit in with the tribe, his school. But then the girl, the, the little girl, fell in the water. She didn't. She forgot her. She forgot her fishing pole. Oh no! So she had to. She swam in the water to get to catch. So she wanted to swim in the water to catch a frog. Toadie also didn't want to be in the water. He wanted to be with someone else. Someone more noticeable. Someone who wasn't mean to him. So he made a he went under the water and made a big plan for being splash for splashing himself. Then he got splashed. Then he got splashed. Then he got totally splashed. Boom. The girl saw this was very visible. She forgot her fishing pole, as I said, so she swam in the water and catched it. 
The wise old toad said, You cannot do this, Toady. It's too dangerous. No, it's not. You don't respect me, so I am going somewhere else. Now that was big. The little girl's eye had gotten a little black when she was in the water. So, yeah, she had to go to the doctor. The old wise toad went under the water with both of with his fish, with his tribe. He said to them, we cannot let this happen to our poor little frog. We must make a plan. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, wise toad, said the little froggies. They hopped and hopped. Then he was done with the plan. They weren't really paying attention, but who cares? Then the but then they didn't even have to do their half plan. The next day, the little girl was done with texture taking. She went back to the pond and had brought in the fish and the frog. The frog was very huge. He had eaten a bunch of apples whole. So she plumped them back into the pond and said, Bye bye. It was really fun seeing you, little fish. And then she she petted the frogs and swam in the water with them, even though that's really mucky and her mom wouldn't allow it. It was that. But then she looked at the sun. It was it was sun setting. It was the sunset. She had to go home. All the fish and all the frogs also went under the water to their cozy little home, and they decided. That they had had a great day, and the ducks fly and fly away, and it was that silent pond over again. Dun dun dun.